In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Puppet Warp tool. So the Puppet Warp tool, what that does, it allows you to take an image and basically distort it. So this is the original, and then I'll basically take that and change it so that her arms and limbs are moving to a different spot. Uh, so let me show you how I did that. So let me go ahead and just remove these two layers. The, the first thing after opening it up, I would just go ahead and just right mouse click and duplicate that layer just so you have an extra copy. And then I'm going to hide the layer below so that I don't accidentally mess with that one. Uh, to select them, I need to kind of cut them out first with a mask layer. So I'm going to grab this um, quick selection tool. And if you use the bracket keys, you can make that bigger uh, for uh, selecting. So I'm just mouse clicking. As I get to some of the smaller limbs, use the bracket keys to make that a little bit smaller. Um, you could also right mouse click. And what's important here is that you try and get as much as you can selected uh, on their area because we're going to start moving this. And if we leave a finger behind or something, then that's going to look weird. So I think I've got it all selected. Uh, and I could spend a little bit more time doing that. But I'm going to go ahead and now jump into Edit and choose Puppet Wrap. When I choose Puppet Wrap, it'll do this. Oh, actually, I don't want to do that yet. Before I do the puppet wrap, uh, I need to cut it out. So I've got that on there, and then I'll go ahead and click on the mask layer. So now I've got it cut out. I've got um, the subject alone without the background. So now I can go ahead and go to edit, and I'll go ahead and do puppet uh, wrap, or warp, sorry. <clears throat> and then I just need to start mouse clicking where I want to place pins to basically uh, manipulate her. These are kind of like hinges. So the more of them you put, the more places you can uh, work with. So I'm going to stop right there. And then if you go over the top of one of those, you can kind of move uh, these pieces around and kind of change the orientation. You got to be careful with this because if you pull it too much, it's just going to make it look distorted and fake. And I probably already pulled it too much uh, and everything. When you're done with that, then you'll just go ahead and get off that tool and click apply and then you've done that warp. So now I've gone from this to this uh, on, on that layer and everything. And that's the, the puppet wrap. Now if I want to get that background, I'm going to have to use a few more tools. Uh, so if you want to stick around for that, um, I'm going to go ahead and use something called the content to wear. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this layer again. And on this one, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to go ahead and I need to try and select her as best as possible. So I'll grab that same tool again and just kind of click, get her all selected as best as I can, make it smaller. And once again, I'm using the bracket tool to kind of hide or to get those smaller limbs uh, and everything. So get as much as you can. And there's other ways of selecting this. You don't have to just use this tool. You can try the lasso tool. Once I've got her selected, go up to edit and fill and make sure you're on this content to where there's other options and then I'll go ahead and click OK. So that should wipe away most of her. If I go ahead and deselect those marching ants, it's I still have a little bit of residue and, and if I would have gone a little outside of her with a lasso tool, it probably would have turned out better. Uh, easiest fix for this is this, um, this tool right here, the spot healing brush and you can just kind of click over the top uh, of those edges. Uh, and this is great for just little touch-ups uh, as well. So I'll go ahead and remove all that. Sometimes you have to get just little chunks. Sometimes you can get all at one, and that'll remove that. So now I have the background, and I can put her in, and that's kind of how you use the content aware and the, um, and the puppet, puppet wrap tool.